Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Where are we, Haley? Dick's Sporting Goods. I know we've been to Dick's Sporting Goods before on the show to pick up Hydro Flask. You with me? Yeah. You with me? You're with me? What are we doing here today, Haley? We're buying camping gear. Oh my god, that's like the loudest one. Yeah, so you can, might be able to hear them in the mic on like yourself. Uh, so the idea is to buy some of this crappy camping food and see how it tastes. I don't know why, but this was another <laughs> one of Haley's great game shows. Let's feed crappy food to us and see how it tastes. Oh, did you see that in the corner of the frame over there? It was like a Bigfoot sighting, but it was a Sioux sighting. I know, I'm gonna hear it for that one. All right, let's 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 take a look at what we got. So naturally, you being a big fan of ice cream, do you want to try the ice cream bar? Sure. Really? No, I think they're gross. I was gonna say, but they do have creamy mac and cheese. Look at that, ooh, your favorite. Just looking at the chicken and dumplings, what do you think about that? Sure. Do you think that'd be safe? I don't really like chicken and dumplings. What do you like? You got biscuits and gravy. That sounds scary. Chicken, do you want to try the chicken teriyaki or the chicken? There's no way that's food. Is it powdered? Oh, you got it. Well, what are the instructions? Open package at tear not. Oh. Oh, at tear not. Remove and discard oxygen absorber from pouch. Carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. Stir carefully and close zipper. Optional, after four minutes, stir again. Let's stand for eight to nine minutes, stir and serve. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking this is a bad idea. I mean, it was your idea. I know. Whatever. <gasps> Ooh, it's Bigfoot, the real Bigfoot. Who knew he was gonna be here? <laughs> That's funny. What's it say? Don't try to make friends with raccoons. They will just charge at you, steal your food, and then laugh about you with their friends behind your back. I gotta be honest, I don't even do think raccoons food? would eat this. Hey mom, I can cook. <laughs> What's that one say? Uh, it doesn't say anything. Alright, well we picked three. A breakfast, lunch, and dinner combination. What do we get, Haley? For breakfast, we're having biscuits and gravy. For dinner, we're having chicken and dumplings. And for a side, we're having creamy mac and cheese. Yum. Great idea, Haley. You're coming up, you're knocking them out of the park I'm lately. Mm. Hopefully we don't throw up. All right, let's pay for these, get home, and give them a try. Don't watch YouTube, kids. It's gonna rot your brain, or your gut in this case. First on the list, breakfast, biscuits, and gravy. All right, so now we have to put our hot water in it. Stir it up. I don't either. Did it smell wet? <laughs> smell like burnt water. Mm, it's kind of smells good. Stir it up. I'm gonna wash off that spoon so you don't taste. Oh, you just cross contaminated. We should have added milk. It's a dead water. I'm pretty sure it's got powdered milk. There's in it. no milk in the jungle. Right. This bird tastes like crap. I just wasn't tasting like crap. In the jungle. Now, of course we can't. <gasps> of course we can't do this simply like, hey, let's just sit at the table. We had to make a tent, right, Haley? They're in the jungle. So we have our fire going in the background. We've prepared our meal. We're in our living room tent in the jungle. Sorry, my bad, right? In the jungle. With the lions. No. The lions and the panthers and the crazy toucans. <laughs> You're supposed to say tigers. 
I almost said tigers. You shouldn't say tigers. First up, naturally would Wait, be- Wait, is it tigers? Did I say tigers? No, you said lions. <laughs> oh, God. All in our head. Oh my gosh. So first up is going to be biff- uh, <laughs> this is third up gonna be some biscuits and gravy. First up will be biscuits and gravy. I don't know. Let's just dig in. Take the blue Do you fork. Hear the crazy laughter in the background. Of the two cans. Take the green fork for the blue fork. For the blue. Yeah. All right. Dad. Smell it. I did. It smells like biscuits and gravy. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't smell bad. All right. Very bland. Like it needs salt and pepper. This isn't bland. It's not bad though. Like I've had worse at restaurants that I've paid large sums of money for. I mean, granted, these weren't cheap, but I think it's not bad. Mm. I mean, it tastes like my work. Yeah, I could see keeping these in the house. I kind of like it. I don't want to like it though. Have you ever had the biscuits and gravy from Chick fil A? Built it on the floor. So biscuits and gravy, what would you, yummy? Yum, yuck, kind of in the middle? <laughs> I give it a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, wow. Seven out of 10, jungle cats. <laughs> You're mental. The only thing I feel that would make it a, would, would be like, is if there was like little packets of salt and pepper in it oh that you gosh, took out. Oh my gosh, it had out. plenty of flavor. You need it, you need it. If you like, you know, inside that you could pour in, but I mean, that's easy enough to take camping. I feel that most people would have that if you're going through the, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods section on your way out. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go eight. I'll go eight. What did I say? You did seven. Oh. I think it's a little bit better. All right, now to cleanse our palates with some nice fresh water from the jungle. Next up is going to be the chicken and dumplings. This has, Basically pot pie. Yeah, it looked like pot pie. You wanna go first? the lions. If there's lions in the desert, in the uh, jungle, yeah. I don't like that, it's too meat. It is very, it's very chewy. It's almost rubbery. I'm scared. It's very chewy. That's weird. What's the ingredients? Okay, the flavor is not bad though. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought these were gonna be disgusting. Texture is weird. That, I, I, I'm down with it, man. I mean, it basically looks like pie filling in here. It's just kind of like all just goo balls. Of, like if you have a Marie Callender's pie, it's very similar to that. Just with not the hard crust. Wow, it's good till 2049. Preppers, woo! Today's world, not a bad idea. But I liked it. I'm not gonna lie, I liked it. Damn, man, that's two for two. I was really hoping this was gonna go the other way and we'd be like, this stuff is so gross. But like, I could, you could live off this, no problem. I think it would be better if I was blind not everything has to have blindfold, really. Yeah, but like looking at it. Oh, definitely looking at it. It's nothing to be excited about. Macaroni and cheese. Well, let's be honest. Who doesn't like this macaroni and cheese? This is probably the worst. Probably. Ooh. Smells like macaroni and cheese. Ew. It's very cheesy. It's, it's very that liquidy. That does not smell good. It's... it's this one is definitely like, I mean, like. That smells like stinky. Did juice. you put enough water? Did you put too much water in here? I put exactly one enough. One and a third cup. Yeah. It's very, very cheesy. Here, hold on. Take a bite. I knew it. The first idea would be to get the mac and cheese because you figure like powdered mac and cheese is pretty easy to do. I mean, you can buy it in a box in the store where it just add water kind of thing. Um, stop eating it. Nope. It's not even cooked. Oh my God, it's horrible. Oh yeah. Show it's... them what it looks like. As feared, the macaroni and cheese, it's sucks. Well, you know, you can't do three for three sometimes. Two out of three ain't bad, as they like to say. I don't know, this one sucks. Should have gone for the egg breakfast. Maybe next Ew. time. Oh no, that looked good. I don't know, man. It looks good, you didn't see it. I don't know, the people on the cover look happy. These are the happy, happy people. Mm. <laughs> 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 
It wasn't a total failure. I was really hoping that one of these would suck and I wasn't disappointed. I just thought it would be one of the other two, right? I can't believe you just ate out of a bag. Really? I mean, we are drinking water out of a box and that yeah, was gross. That was so bad. Dude, how many of you guys had water out of a box? Boxed water. Oh, that is so nasty. I don't know what it is about the, the, the I'd plastic. I'd rather drink out of a toilet. That can be arranged. What about a portalette? Will you do a portalette? Portalette story. So when we were in Hawaii, there's this fame road to Hana. All right, that you go on, it's like 200 bridges. A uh, lot of like death row trucker kind of craziness type thing. It's always great to watch because we let the person that lives there that we go with drive because they know what they're doing. And all these other tourists, you just watch rental cars get scratched constantly. It's a beautiful thing. Either way, they have all these side of the road where you stop and get food or flowers or whatever. And so we stopped at this one, it was like a Greek restaurant or something. It was weird. It was yeah. a hut. Okay, they're huts, but anyways, it was that like- That was not a Greek restaurant. It was some obscure thing. Maybe it's Indian food. Either way, they have portalets because obviously getting like sewage and all that is not going to happen. <laughs> so I go out back and there's like six portalets lined up and they're kind of hidden. And I open the door and. Um, the mountain to Hana. <laughs> Mount, Mount Haniakala was in the portalet. When the turds are higher than the seat, that's a problem. Because if you think about it, how. Okay, that means it's like. And it wasn't like it was one turd higher than the seat. It was a lot of turds higher than the seat. That means that people kept pooping. Uh, I didn't, of course. I opened the door, huh, shut the door. Funny, funny part, as if that wasn't funny enough. Behind me was this little teenage girl, probably like 14, 13, 14 years old. And her mom was just like, just go, honey. Just hold your breath. I'm like, trust me, you don't want to go in there. <laughs> You're not going to be able to hold your breath. You need to close your eyes and hold your breath. You, you know, good luck. Yeah, she went running away. Like, no, uh, no. I'm like, eh, I'll hold it. All right, guys, that's story time in the tent. Ooh, spooky by the nice warm Thank fire. You. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, if you guys have any ideas for videos, like right now that you'd like to see us do, obviously we can't wait to get back to Disney and Universal and just be able to get out and do something. So I've really been, you know, pushing her brain to come up with these funky ideas. And they're fun. I'm I not, think I've been doing a good You have been doing a wonderful job. These have been fun. Let me ask you this. So I'm thinking a question for the day. Do you like to camp? Do you like to go camping? I'm a big fan of hotels. Like my idea of, a ho <laughs> of, of camping is where are we gonna go? And I find a hotel by wherever they're gonna be at and I'll stay there. When I was young, I was a boy scout and I got all the camping out of my system because we went camping every month and yeah, it all cleared away. I don't feel the need to camp in. She's a bit of a prima donna. I've been camping. And a motorhome. That's still camping. Uh, no, it's like taking your hotel portable. You go to a campground. You do go to a campground. Okay, we'll go that. I'm talking camping like in a tent type thing. You don't even own a tent, so how would I do that? Let us know the if you like... The lines would have got me. Let, let us know if you like to go camping or hoteling, as we call it, in the comments down below. I'm camping, gonna... glamping, or hoteling. Oh, glamping. Okay, there we glamping go. Glamping is in an RV. All right. Um, That's it for today. Haley, do you got anything? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow our Instagram page at, at the Boring Life of Yeah, do all that. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Let's get out of this jungle. I kind of like it. I think we should keep up and watch TV from here. I always like making headaches. Uh-huh, uh-huh, whatever. Uh -huh.